Java SD that has direct competition to the Himalayan is going to have the updates. Since the launch in 2022, this model does not get any updates. Now, the model has come with some new features and engine upgradation. So, what you will get out of this model? Let's talk about that. Before we move to the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell for more updates. You can also read my articles on www.automileheart.in website. Some media websites and channels has the news that the company is already launching the 2024 ESD Adventure in India. The updated ESD Adventure 350 has a lot of new mechanical and cosmetic updates compared to the outgoing model. When ESD launched this bike a couple of years ago, the motorcycle looked like a carbon copy of the Royal Enfield Himalayan 411. Now, times have changed, the RE Himalayan has moved on to the 450 model and ESD have carried a substantial amount of changes. They have said that they have changed the motorcycle in a couple of bits of internal and external as well. On the design front, ESD have executed some subtle but noticeable changes. Those big tank rails that were on there before have now shrunk down in size and have therefore helped save up some kgs, some of the bikes overall weight. The next big thing you will immediately notice is the level of fit and finish, which clearly has been addressed. The paint finish on the metal parts, the curved body plastics, even the quality of welds and the sticker work all looks a way neater than before. That's all well and good from the aesthetic purposes. But the main talking point about the updated engine, that is called Alpha 2 engine, well, this motorcycle will produce 334cc single cylinder engine and a liquid cool technology that we have seen previously in Java 350 Classic. Now obviously the displacement is the same but the power and the torque, well that has gone up to suit the configuration of this motorcycle. It now produces 30 PS of max power and 30 Nm of max torque. And the best part of this motorcycle is the previous adventure model seem to be lacking in terms of low and torque because you have to really ring the throttle and you will get it above 2500 rpm for that nice juicy torque to kick in not anymore now because this engine well that the torque in this model has a lot more accessible from lower down to the power band at around 1500 rpm it kicks it nicely that are really helps when you are off-road in a sticky situation or even you are cruising around the city at low speeds so that's a really good thing Yes, even the 6-speed gearbox has been tweaked around with to better cater to the adventurous ambitious and also provide slicker shifts. Also, the company should add quick shifter in this model. And I have been told that there the engine mapping has been altered to suit each end of three gears for better low and tractability and it is all there to be filled. Gear shifts are also very smooth and less chunky too. Another noticeable difference is the revised exhaust routing which now seems a more centrally located header while it was previously located on the side of the engine and this has in turn resulted in sharp falter piping system in the process. The coolant reservoir is located in the rear of the pipe near the rear suspension so as to not cut down the 220mm grout clearance. You'll also notice the smaller radiator on there which is another big part and the common with Java 350 Classic as well as with the redesigned bass plate which looks quite nice on there too. In terms of ergonomics, thankfully ESD hasn't messed around with the existing model too much so you will still have the fairly decent ground clearance of around 220 and the riding posture of pretty much straightforward and very upright with things within reach. But once you get off-road, the sad thing this bike has feel that when you stand up on this motorcycle, you will actually get to grip in terms of with your heel. So that is a big disadvantage of this model. The ESD Adventure is available in four color options with two matte colors, Tornado Black and Magnite Maroon Dual Tone. Those colors has the latest expensive version at rupees 2.09 lakh and 2.12 black X showroom. The tan cage through is a mandatory accessory will cost around 3,499 over the X showroom price. So this is the video for now. What is your thought on this model? Please mention that on the comment box below. Until next time, be safe, ride safe.